I care. That's a big statement. But here at Inspira, they're not just words. That's a philosophy. That's the way we try to express to our patients that we do care about you. You're not just a number. You're not just a patient sitting in a hospital bed. Two pillars of that is the idea of 10-5 and no venting. Our 10-5 rule says that if we come within 10 feet of someone anywhere, we acknowledge them. Within five feet, we speak to them. Why do we do this? We do this because we care. And we can't care unless we acknowledge that people matter, that their presence matters. The second pillar is the idea of no venting. But the question then comes, what do we mean by venting? I'll take it from here. Thank you very much for asking. <laughs> hang but, on, hang on. Your, your turn is coming. But, but just for our purposes here, the dictionary defines venting as the expression or release of a strong emotion, energy, etc. So for our purposes, in a patient-centered environment, venting would be defined as expressing outwardly whatever is going on inwardly without adequate regard for the patient. So we're going to explain the five categories of venting. Foul play, which is essentially general venting. Pass the buck. This is the blame game. The invisible man. Talking over or simply ignoring someone. Offsides. Staff venting to a patient. Hurting your own team. Unsportsmanlike conduct. Where you are venting in social media or outside the realm of the hospital setting itself. Let's focus on foul play. This is just being generally irritated, upset, frustrated with just everyday things that come along and mess things up and so I've got to let it out. Watch this. This printer never works. Nothing in this case ever works. Look at this. Even the thermostat's broken. I know. I'm so frustrated. I have so much to do. She's here again for her Dilaudid. Again? Yes. I have other sick patients and all she wants is her pain medication. Uh, uh, you know, I need to get know, a real sick patient in there. Yeah, I know. We don't really need this. We don't have time for this. I know. Well, what are you going to do? It is what it is. Excuse me. I just heard that. Foul play, 15 yard penalty. But if you think that's bad, wait till you get a load of the next one. It's called pass the buck. Pass the buck, also known as the blame game. This is when we express sympathy for the patient by throwing someone else under the bus. This is when we empathize with their pain without taking personal responsibility and saying someone else is at fault. What's tricky about this is we feel like we're caring for the patient, but all we're doing at the end of the day is justifying their frustration and redirecting it to someone else. And all we've done is pass the buck. Well, is there something that I can help you with? Yes, I want to know what time I'm having my ultrasound. I haven't ate or drank anything since midnight. Everyone keeps telling me it should have been done by now and no one's coming to get me. I am really sorry. I don't know what to tell you. The doctor was supposed to be here at 9 o'clock this morning and typical of them, he hasn't shown up. Are you the doctor that's supposed to do my test? I am, ma'am. I'm, I'm here to see if there's any problems. Anything I can help you with? Well, actually, I have not had anything to eat or drink since midnight, and everyone keeps giving me excuses, and apparently you're the problem why I haven't had my test done so far. Well, not really. As you know, nurses and uh, paperwork, these things uh, take a lot of time. You can see them out there at the nursing station, just uh, really hanging out, not really doing a lot of their work. Pass the buck violation? 30-yard penalty. I don't think I have the stomach for this. Is anyone thinking about the patient? Really? When do you see the next one? It's called the invisible man. This is when we don't think we're venting, right? Venting, we usually think of something negative. But what about the patient? Sometimes we can forget that he's present, that he's there. So, so watch this with us and see if you can help my friend here spot the invisible man. Well, there's a special test that you're going to have, and Dave's show is going to take care of it. I can't believe you're wearing your Vicks jersey today after what? you got hurt. You know good thing just... Coles came in. I'll that tell you why. Awesome we've never game. won that game. That was awesome. have to buy a new, you have to buy a new uh, shirt next week. You know, I think Foles is the guy now. Okay, we're going to move you over. We're you know where, you're, where are we taking him? He's going to have a test. 
So, he, so he'll, 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 he'll be fine. We don't know that. It's though. down in the nuclear area. He'll be, he'll be fine. Well, we don't know what part of it is. I don't know. I don't know. What? Can you sort of shoot me over? Wow, did you used to play Lyman? That is pretty holy. Speaking of Lyman, all right. Speaking of Lyman, that was just an awesome defense that we had. Can't they see the patient? And you know what? The flyers are up next. Did you see their house? Okay, I'm going to go find your doctor. 50 yard penalty. They've killed the invisible man. This is a really, really good transition to our next segment, which is offsides. Now, offsides is when you and I hurt our own team. This is when any of us, any of us, would vent to a patient. Hi. Hi. My name's Leanne. I've been with Inspira for about 18 years. I'm going to get you registered today. Is that okay? Sure. Is there something wrong? <sighs> What could be wrong? They just expect us to do the work of five people around here. My goodness. It's not your fault though, honey. Offsides! Offsides! I can't believe this! 75 yard penalty! The patient doesn't need it! And this kind of takes us to this last thing we want to focus on, which is unsportsmanlike conduct. And this is when our venting goes beyond these walls. We could call it venting goes viral. Mm. This is when we take it to places it should never go. So watch with us. They posted it on Facebook? So. Facebook. I, I can't do it. Uh, well, hey, 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 I, I just can't. Well, hang on. Now that you have seen our video, you know that we have consistent standards for 10-5 and no venting. We know that no venting means not complaining about staff or coworkers in front of patients or visitors or venting our frustrations in public. It's important to never say anything in front of a patient or visitor that may cause them to doubt or have concern about the care we provide. Our patients should be confident in the caregivers and the care they are receiving from us. Our patients and families come to us and put their lives in our hands. It is our moral and ethical responsibility to provide an environment of safety and quality and our professional responsibility to provide an exceptional patient experience. It is our mission to provide high quality patient care and services that improve the lives of all we serve. We are more than just a team. We are a family. We want the best for our patients because we care.